James, hi. Um, yeah, so what did you think about the movie? What did you like about it? Um, I, I really enjoyed lots of aspects of it. I think... Mm -hmm. uh, What's your favourite part? Um, Liam's character. I was saying to Liam before, it's like, it's quite a misunderstood film because a lot of the characters are very over the top and sort of almost comic book. And I think that was always intentional. It's like there's nobody quite as as flamboyant and ridiculous as Helmet Horrocks. Mm -hmm. Liam is a, a very serious and very kind of real character. Mm -hmm. And the things that are going on around him are just ridiculous. Before I started the film, I did a lot of I did a lot of work into James's career. James Walsh's fans will, will always remember that you know, James is just a normal guy who's who's very talented, and I think, and I think that. <laughs> but Kiva's like that. Kiva's a, a lad, who's you know, in, he, in, he's not a nice guy really at the moment at the start of the film, but he unlocks at the end, and he's himself at the end. He can laugh, he can smile, he's he's unlocked himself. Whatever happened to the Grams? No one's even heard of them here. I was out with Matt Cardle the other night because I've written some songs for his record. And there was a picture in OK magazine and it said Matt Cardle and friend. <laughs> the last time I was out, I was papped, that was with uh, Vernon Kay, and that was and friend then as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I sold like some records and stuff, but it's, I'm not famous in any way <laughs> in, the, in the OK world of. That's, that's a good okay, thing though, no, that's just no, bullshit. No, no. Like, you don't want to be an OK magazine anyway. I just thought it, I just thought it was funny. I'll it's just funny. put you as friend on, on A Dairy Me. <laughs> Liam Boyle and friends. Uh, no, it might, it might, no, that'd be, that'd be a massive piss take, wouldn't it? Seeing them play today just brought things back. Everything. The beginning of the film, right, uh, where Kiva's walking through uh, this, the festival, James was on. It was my first day filming and it was like he was speaking to me and helping me out because it's like, you know, it's really mad because he, he could have been on, on any other time, like he could have been on later that night or later on, but my first scene, the first uh, of the film, like James was on and he's going, Liam, come on, you'll be all right. <laughs> You're a cocktail little man. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I think it all, it also. Were you aware that you were doing that? <laughs> no, I, well, you were saying no. James. Um, <laughs> maybe subconsciously, but I think also what brought some authenticity to the film was uh, Kevin Sampson, who obviously wrote the book. I mean, it's a massive novel, which is very successful, and in that, it, um, Kiva McCluskey's um, uh, idol is uh, is Graham Parsons, and he names the Grams after Graham Parsons. He's doing a yard of gas. Welcome to my world. You've had a successful career, I and mean, there must have been a lot of drugs, alcohol, and it's like quite you know um, prevalent in the music industry. How did you keep yourself away from all that kind of letting that overtake? No, I've, I've never got into the drugs really. I think I've, everyone else has. Like, Lots of people around me, but it's kind of... I've always had to keep my head screwed on. I came onto the scene in a time where the drug of choice was cocaine, which isn't conducive to creativity at all. It's like, from what I've heard, it sort of makes you think you're the best thing in the world and whatever you come up with is the best thing in the world. And that's, that's not how you come out with great songs. People on certain things get so desperate that, like, old rivalries and things will be put to one side because such a body has the last sort of supply of whatever it is. And that's what I found <laughs> ridiculous. It's like it, it sort of made people socialise with people that they didn't necessarily like or get on with because they happen to have whatever it is they wanted. And in regards to the references and drugs in the film, it goes on. Imagine doing a film where, like, they pretend it doesn't exist. You know, I watch something like Skins, which is aimed at, you know, there are younger people in it. They're supposed to be, you know, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that, I would say, as a uh, program, glamorises that kind of lifestyle. I don't think that it, it is glamorous, but in a sense, but it's because it's linked in with music. <laughs> You've 
got mixed reviews on the internet. Um, Guardian gave you one out of five. The Mirror gave it one out of five. Uh, what would Kiva say? Well, we don't like it, stick it up your ass. If you've done anything that people have liked, you can respond to that or you can act upon that in different ways. You can either be more humble and sort of modest because you don't have to prove yourself. You just kind of mm. have done that. Mm. Or you can go down the helmet route, which is more like, look at me. <laughs> Why is no one looking at me?